All right, so I'm in the events controller and originally we were returning event entity or the model as a collection. However, we don't want to do that anymore. We want to return the event DTO instead and we want to return a collection of the event DTO, of course. So let's bring in the namespace and let's examine the rest of the action. So we grab the results, but remember the results only get us the model for the event, not the event DTO. So we don't want to return the event, we want to return the event DTO. So in order for us to do that, we could go and we could loop through each of the results. So we could go and create for each loop and we would have variable E in the results. And here we could simply create our event for the event DTO. So I will create a new event DTO object. And here inside the for each loop, we would simply assign the properties to it. So we would go event DTO dot, for example, city equals the E dot. And over here we have all the properties for the event. So we would go to venue and dot city. Then we would go event DTO and we would grab another, for example, event date that comes from E dot event date. Then we would go event DTO and let's say event name that goes from the E dot event name. So this way we would go and assign the values for our DTO properties from the entity properties inside a for each loop. However, imagine if there were really a lot of properties to assign, it would become cumbersome. But this is what basically is happening, except we can make it a little more automated. And in order to avoid all this typing, we can use mapper. The mapper will simply map the properties from one object to another. So I'm going to comment this out because we're not going to be using that. Instead, we are going to use the mapper and that comes from our nuggets. So we'll go to tools, then nuget package manager and manage nuget packages for solution. And let's browse for it. So we want a mapper. And the first one that comes up is the auto mapper. But that's not the one we want. What we want is mapper.extensions because we want the one for the .NET Core. So what we want is this one. Automapper.extensions.microsoft.dependency injection. And you can see that it's an automapper extensions for ASP.NET Core. So I'm going to check that and install in my project. All right, so my automapper was installed successfully. So now instead of doing all this with a loop, I'm going to use the mapper to do all the work for us. So we'll do and create a variable, let's say mapped entities. And here we will use the mapper, but we don't have the mapper yet. We installed it in a project, but we don't have an access to it here in our controller yet. In order to have an access to it, we need to bring it in just like we brought in the repository here. So what we want to bring in is the interface for the mapper. So we'll go and create a private read only again. And we want I mapper. And I'll call it underscore mapper. So let's bring in the namespace for the mapper and that is using auto mapper. And just like we did with the I event repository, we will inject I mapper into our controller. So I mapper and I'll name it mapper. And then I will assign our underscore mapper to the value of mapper. And now I have access to it. So here in my mapped entities, I can now go to my underscore mapper. And here I have all the methods and properties available to me. And the one I want is to map entity. So I'll create a map. And what I want to map is the event DTO to the result. Now the results is the entities or the model event. So basically we are mapping event DTO to the event model. 
so we'll go event DTO and then we of course want all of them so it's the collection and we map that collection to the collection of results and then over here instead of returning results we will return the mapped entities because we want to return of course the event DTO collection so this way we avoided all this type in for all the properties to assigning the values to them but of course in order for us to use the mapper service we need to go to our startup and add the service to it so over here with the configure services we will add another service and I'm going to add the mapper so services dot add and we have the other mapper let's bring the namespace for the using auto mapper so now we can go back to our controller and actually we can run it and see if this is going to work for us so in the postman I'm going to run the same get request for the events and include the gigs and we get 200 ok and you can see here's the results I get the event the venue and I get both the gigs along with the comedians for each of the gigs now if I change this to false I only get the event and the venue and no gigs and since there's no gigs we don't get any comedians either so our auto mapper is working and we are now ready to move on and start creating the rest of the API calls in our controller